Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the Migration Update for April 5th, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch. Kim and I started out the day at the Braddock Bay East Spit. It was kind of a gloomy morning with rain and snow showers and a moderate to strong northwest wind. The highlight was the continuing Grady Gret, which was probably wondering why it didn't stay south for a little bit longer. From the East Spit, we had 30 species. Next, we headed over to Braddock Bay Park to start the hawk watch, but those rain and snow showers continued, so we mainly just sat in the car. And then actually at one point, I was actually going to leave because the snow had started to pick up, and it just got a little bit brighter, and then it was like the sun was starting to come out. So I actually turned around, came back in and parked, and not too much longer, we started to get some turkey vultures. And then in the midday period, there was actually a bit of sunshine, first sunshine in quite a while, as long as I can remember. It feels like a week now. Um, But then eventually it clouded over and was overcast to end the day. Here we have a raptor that looks a bit lanky with a long tail, long wings that are somewhat pointed, and an owl-like facial disc. This is a northern harrier, and we know that this is an adult female because of the streaking here on the upper breast. Here we have a raptor that's two-toned underneath with a small reddish head. This is a turkey vulture. And there was some Facebook discussion that I saw. Someone asked, are turkey vultures raptors? Or since when are they considered raptors? Something like that. And the answer is that, no, they're not really raptors, but they sort of get lumped in with the other raptors since we count them while hawk watching. Here we have a large gray and blue wading bird. We see long trailing legs, and we see a very long pointed yellow bill. This is a great blue heron. And notice that when great blue herons fly, they curve their neck into an S shape. By midday, the turkey vulture migration was pretty steady with groups of up to 20 or so at some points and with a total of more than 400 for the day. So first good day in a while. And even though the conditions weren't really that good, uh, just the weather's been so crummy all week that I think the birds are taking any opportunity they can get to continue their migration. Here's one of the highlights of the day. From the overall shape, we should be thinking the Budio genus. And we can see a few field marks, especially the banding on the tail here. We also see that the wingtips are very blunt. So this is a red-shouldered hawk. And I made sure to check this closely because we could be seeing broad-winged hawks, which are very similar any day now. So uh, the the main thing that differentiates them is that very blunt wingtip. And also, on the adult red shoulders, you can normally see multiple thin white bands on the tail, whereas on the adult broad-winged hawks, you see more of a single wide white band on the tail. Here we have two large birds migrating together. Again, we see trailing legs, but these have long necks that are held out straight and they're more tan and gray in color. These are sandhill cranes. Here we have a large dark raptor with a large head and some white throughout the underside, especially in the wing pit area. This is an immature bald eagle. And there were a couple of bald eagles around today. Here we have an adult. Here we have another Budio. We see dark patagial bars and a dark belly band. And we see a dark trailing edge to the wings and a red tail. So we know this is an adult red-tailed hawk. Here we have a large, lanky, black and white raptor carrying a fish. This is an osprey. Towards the end of the day, I took a walk out onto the boardwalk. Here we have a duck with a dark head, white sides, and a grayish back. This is a scop, but is it a greater scop or a lesser scop? Well, if we look at the head shape, we see it's kind of a tall head shape with a bit of a peak here towards the back. So this is a lesser scop. Here's another duck from the Ithia genus. We see gray sides and a black back, very dark head, and a bill that's mainly gray but has some white highlights on it as well. This is a ring-necked duck. Here's a female duck that looks similar to multiple species. These ones can be tricky. But if you saw the top side of this bird, you would have seen white patches in the secondaries because this is a female gadwall. Here we have another osprey that's tucking into a little bit of a glide. Look how pointed back those wingtips get. Here we have the Loch Ness Monster. Just kidding. We have a small grebe. You can barely see the body here. And you see it's got kind of a brownish head and a bicolored bill. This is a pied-billed grebe. And the flock of around 50 American coots is still hanging around and showing well off the end of the boardwalk. Taking a look at the eBird list from the Hawkwatch, today we had 44 species. 
And one other highlight I'll mention is that we had 10 common ravens today, which is unusual. We had one migrating group of eight, which is a really nice number to see here at Braddock Bay. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 449 turkey vultures, one osprey, three bald eagles, six northern harriers. For exhibitors, we had two cooper's hawks. For beautios, we had one red-shouldered hawk and two red-tailed hawks, and no falcons, for a total of 464 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 638, and the season total to 8,758. And taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking mostly cloudy with the high in the upper 40s and northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So somewhat similar to today with those strong northwesterly winds and a little bit of sunshine. And we had a decent flight of turkey vultures today with a small number of other species mixed in. And I would expect the same for tomorrow. It's nice that the temperatures are getting a little bit warmer than we've seen recently. For Sunday, it's looking partly cloudy with a high near 50 and light north-northeast wind, so that's an unfavorable wind direction, but they're going to be fairly light, and recently when we've had those light northeasterly winds, we've still held on to a turkey vulture flight from the platform, so hopefully more birds will be moving on Sunday, especially with that sunshine providing lots of thermals. And for Monday, they keep switching the forecast from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. The most current forecast is saying mostly cloudy with a high in the low 50s, Winds starting out southeasterly in the morning and then shifting around the east and eventually to northeast for the afternoon at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that's an overall unfavorable wind direction, but again, fairly light. And with the winds more favorable in the morning, maybe we'll get a bit of a morning flight. All right. Well, it looks like we survived all of the rain and snow and wind that we've had for, what, the past week now? Looking forward to getting a little bit of sunshine the next few days, and then as we get towards the end of next week, it's looking like we might get some favorable southwesterly winds and hopefully some big flights on those days. So we'll look forward to that. I hope to see you soon out at the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.